I am a mutant. Hath not a mutant senses, affections, fed with the same food, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a human is? If you prick us, do we not bleed? Don't worry, you're not watching some weird Shakespeare audition. For those who have seen the 90s X-Men animated series, you may remember that scene from the episode Intermagneto, where Beast, or Hank McCoy, takes his moment in court to plead to the people to understand that mutants, though differently gifted, are nothing to fear, and in most ways, simply the same. This is a sentiment that rings true through the entire existence of the character, originally having a more human-like appearance with amplified features, and evolving into the form we more recognize. The, the blue fur, the features leaning more animalistic, such as a cat-like face, fangs, claws, and, and both immense strength and intellect. The latter being the ability Hank most leans on, using it to fight political battles for mutant kind, or studying biochemistry, genetics, even medicine, and in a Promethean-like manner serves to share the fire of his intellectual gift ability with others by serving as an educator in the Xavier Institute. Of course, not always shying away from using the strength in battle, but only when absolutely necessary, helping to remind everyone that he serves as a linchpin in the X-Men team. Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan, aka JK of JK Collects. I'll be posting a new video at least once a week, if not more. And if that sounds of interest to you, please click that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. In this episode, we are taking a closer look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends six inch scale Marvel's Beast. Welcome back, everyone, and there he is. Hello, Beastie. Here's our boy himself. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. I, I am very excited to uh, be able to bust into this one just because he's such an awesome character. Such amazing head sculpts on this one. And, I mean, you got a soft goods lab coat with little Erlenmeyer flasks, yeah, and uh, various scientific things, right? I, I think it's an Erlenmeyer flask. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, at least one of them is. Anyway, let's get started. Let's Let's check out the back of this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Talk about that uh, pulling on those retro, the nostalgia strings, right? It, it just reminds me of those old school Toy Biz figures I used to get back in the day, right? So a little bit of information uh, beyond what I shared um, with uh, about old Doc Henry McCoy. I never called him a doctor, but you know what? There we go. He is truly a doctor. Marvel's Beast, capital B. He is a true B, right? Uncanny X-Men, there's a nice picture of him uh, observing his experiments. Very cool. I like that pose. Uh, I doubt that I could duplicate that. But uh, there we go. You know, various other stuff on there. But great looking back. You know, there's not much of a side, right? The side is, is the blister. But then the front, we've got that comic book looking cover that we're used to from those old classic figures. I just love seeing this, this retro reproduction of these amazing new sculpts. Especially when you put it side by side with what you, what used to come out back in the 90s. Um, at the time, fantastic. Absolutely loved them equally as much as I'm loving this one. But uh, you know what? Without further ado, let's bust into this one. And now, full disclosure, in the name of safety and saving time, I did go ahead and cut this. Now, I have not opened it. Uh, just be completely frank with you. We're opening it together for the first time, but I did cut around the edges just so that we together can pull this up, you know, and that, that way the, the, everything kind of stays intact. Yes, I'm an opener, but I'm also kind of a, a bit of a preserver of, of quality. Okay. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this together. We'll, we'll pull this flap up a little bit. We'll pull his plastic down and it's not Hasbro if a little pamphlet doesn't come popping out. So there we go. I'm going to move this out of the way. We still kind of have bubble intact. Get that out of the way because we don't we don't need that one anymore. We've looked at it enough. Man, look at that. Okay, let's start pulling stuff out, right? Let's pull uh, let's pull some of these little flasks out of here so we can. I appreciate that they are set to stand properly. I appreciate that they have labels. We're gonna look more closely at those in just a second. Let's get. Oh look, look at these little specs. Oh man. So yeah, we did a we did an unboxing of another figure recently that had some goggles on their head that would have been great to see those loose, uh, much like these spectacles for uh, for Mr. McCoy. Man, there's so many little fun things to pull out of here, but the most fun of all, the beast himself. So all right, we've got him out. We're gonna move him out of the way so we can start looking at some of his uh, his accoutrement. Right. So we've got look at these look at these tiny little specks. Oh my goodness. And uh, you know what? The focus is kind of getting it with them being so small. I'm, I'm really, I'm not surprised. They're just kind of struggling with it. But I mean, they're very flexible. Uh, they, they almost look like they are 
what is it, uh, Coke bottle glasses. I mean, look how thick those are. That's fantastic. I, I look forward to playing around with those. And here are our two scientific flasks. We've got OX gene label on this one, right? So I don't know if you can see it. Um, let's see if we slowly bring it in. Can, can the focus keep up? Not today. Not wanting to work with us today. Okay, but we'll keep it back here. Hopefully you can see it um, if you blow it up on your screen. But we've got a nice little uh, magenta type purple uh, plastic filled in there that makes it look like there's a fluid uh, inside that flask, which would obviously be the X gene, right? So we've got it, we've got it, uh, stored in this flask ready for some, some tests. And then we've got another one here with just a little bit of green in there to look like that's got a little bit of green in it. One thing I'll say is there's a little bit different. You know what? This, we're gonna, we're gonna pull an audible here and pull the package back out. A little bit different than what we see right there, right? So it, it kind of indicates a full, a uh, green flask, but we ended up with uh, what almost looks like a Christmas light uh, in there or uh, a jelly bean. But there we go. Either way, you know, I'm not mad because what a cool accessory, right? I've I've not had anything quite like that come with any of the figures in the past. Let's check out these extra hands with the aforementioned uh, claws or talons that he has. I mean, look at that. So he's showing them off right there. Look at this. Look at this manicure he just got, right? Fantastic. So extra set of hands for uh, for some good beast capability and this. When they first showed this uh, figure as a possibility online, I was most excited because of this face, right? I'd, I'd seen it with previous versions. Let me cut the light down a little bit, see if maybe the focus can keep up. I, was, I saw with previous versions this head sculpt, right? And I was like, man, I really missed out because I just, I, I can't hold on to it, but I also could not find it anywhere. And I mean, just, just that, that growl, that, that, beast he just looks like he is ready for battle and right in the thick of it this is one of those moments where i think he's using the strength uh, of his abilities you know because obviously the the situation deemed worthy but that is just fantastic all right well let's get to mr mccoy slash beast himself boom there he is looking very thoughtful um looking like he's he's curious of why we took so long to get to him probably because i ramble so much but here we go. All right. First and foremost, the big uh, elephant that's on his back is this lab coat. I mean, it's cool. I, I think it's great, right? So we've got soft goods. We've got a cool option. I have not seen a beast figure come with something like this before. So very exciting. If there was anything, it was probably plastic. It wasn't this soft goods. I will say that it is, it is definitely very basic soft goods. There's no wiring or anything like that to help with poses. You can't have like any kind of uh, Dr. Beast action shots of wind blowing. You know, he's out there for a uh, a GQ photo shoot or, you know, jumping from something. Or if you have him hanging upside down, he can't like have the, have gravity pulling the coat. I mean, you can kind of pull it down, but a wire would have helped with some of that fun posability, right? Just to kind of change it. So, Hey, you know what? Yet another opportunity for those, those, uh, third party developers, um, out there to create a soft goods or just add wires to this one, but another white lab coat for old beastie. Uh, that being said, I mean, very simple, right? And we're dealing with white fabric. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if they really wanted to take too much of a risk of trying to add too much detail or, and it's supposed to be clean, right? Because it's a, uh, well, it's a lab coat, right? And you, you kind of would expect that to stay clean. I'm curious what I'm going to have to do to get this thing off. I am, uh, I'm I'm afraid of breaking something, but I almost want to pop an arm out so that I have the ability. Oh, man, you guys are watching some serious violence right here. If anybody else is is as concerned as I am in this moment, then uh, yeah, I'm glad to not stand alone. We'll see if I can figure out how to get that off. But what we can still do is uh, he does look very offended that I'm trying to take his coat. What a pose. But what we'll do is we'll still do the breakdown. I think we can still get to everything here, right? So here's the other, the face that that came on him, right? So uh, he's obviously very, very thoughtful, very focused. Still has those whited out eyes, right? Because he is still beast. And, uh, you know, that just doesn't change. So there we go. Um, the paint on it and the sculpt, just fantastic, right? I, I don't see uh, any issues or any opportunities coming out right now. Um, but let's, you know what, let's, let's see if we can, uh, see if we can get him a little bit closer, maybe get some focus so you can see that. Let's try switching. There we go. Look at that. Look, I mean, just, just an absolutely beautiful sculpt on this guy. And the paint is very smooth, very clean. Uh, that slight different blue to, to highlight the lips. And, uh, I mean, 
even the eyebrows, you know, there's, there's little tiny intricate details to those eyebrows. Let's, let's see if we can get that focus on him. There we go. He's getting nice and close and we're just focusing as best we can. So there we go. Perfect. All right. Now, I mean, just, they did a great job on the face is, is, is what I'm getting at right there. So, uh, all right, let's back him up a little bit. See if we can let the focus catch up again. Right back here. No. Okay, we're going to switch to manual. We're going to do it ourselves. How about that? I'm tired of waiting on the focus. So here we go. That's our guy. That's our head. So let's check out some mobility, right? So side to side, we're okay there. We've got some good up and down. It is uh, on, you can see it's on this this kind of, that that hinge right there. And it seems like it's got a ball perhaps at the top that it can rotate on. So that's good for some of the mobility, right? It's not just dependent on that one ball. It also has this piece here. Now, if you have him looking up, obviously you can see that. So, you know, that is, uh, take that for whatever you want. And uh, Beast could be in a position where he is looking up, right? If we got the upside down hanging, highly possible. Uh, but let's check the most important. Yes, we have full on exorcist rotation. So we have success right there. He does kick the old head back so that it can go around, uh, but it makes it. And that's all that matters to me. And just look at that. Look at that flat hair on the back. I mean, wow, just... How long does it take to style that, right? That, I mean, I, I know he's a mutant and I know his hair comes naturally, but no way that style is natural. Do he and Logan go to the same place? Do they share secrets? I don't know. Maybe they share the same product. All right, well, let's look at some more details. So let's bring him in so we can look at this detail of the fur sculpting. Now, I, I'm under no illusions that this is a new sculpt. I am sure that this is just yet another uh, repurpose of an existing one, but I'm okay with it because this is my first one. And hey, it may be, it may be your first option as well. But look at that. Look at how this butterfly joint travels. Talk about flexibility, right? And what, what better character could we have that for, right? This guy is supposed to be very animal like. So he needs to have a lot of flexibility, a lot of capabilities. And when we bring that joint back, Look at the fur detail sculpted into that. All right, so they knew that this was a big piece that was coming around. They took that moment and paid attention to the detail on that. So I am very grateful. Obviously, we've got uh, rotation there. We have the ability to, to move up and down. It looks like we have, yep, a bicep and tricep up at the upper part. A good rotation on that. And we're moving to the elbow. Kind of tough to see through here, but looks like it might be... Feels like it could be a double. Yeah, we've, it seems like we've got double travel because I've got that in there. Again, I'm going to try and get the jacket off just so that we can see a little bit more. And once I figure out the best way to do that, I'll make sure that you know. Uh, but here we go with the hand, right? So we've got our good old hand. We've got some up and down. Obviously, we can see right here that joint for it, and it does twist around. doesn't have the wiggly around because we've got up and down, but we do have rotation, and that's good. And same thing on this side, right? So nothing really different, same rotation, same double elbow, same thing with the wrist and the hand being able to move up and down, which is fine, right? So it looks like it has the ability to move pretty flat for some cool beast action, right? And maybe I should, maybe I should have that in frame and in focus. And there he is. Look at that. I, I, I need to not bump the camera so much, but there we go. So good old beastie right there. And then, uh, we've got, Mid torso, which curves down. I do like the way that they've done this, right? So it's not the flat thing. With them being a little bit more of a, a, a squat or or wider design, they have this curving around, so there's not quite as much uh, length right there. So we do have that flexibility, including this. So we've got rotation here underneath the uh, the rib cage, basically, but then we also have this hinge here, so it does hinge down. So even more flexibility and capability. They certainly kept uh, Hank's capability in mind for that. Now, we, it seems like we did sacrifice a, uh, a waist rotation, but we do have here and we have that bend there. So, you know, I'm, I'm not too mad about that because I'll, I'll sacrifice that for those capabilities, especially when the line here is not horribly obvious, right? We do have this belt that kind of rides around a little bit. Um, I feel like it's supposed to maybe be down a little bit. But hey, if you're not necessarily bending too far or even so, you can bring it up some. And the pants, you know, it doesn't seem to want to ride too much higher than the edge of the pants. So you wouldn't really be able to know. And it can kind of mask that other seam if it's if it's something that you're not a, a big fan of. Uh, legs, not really doing the pull down thing, but they do have pretty good flexibility. We've almost got a full split right there, right? The beast split. It seems like that would be an ideal thing to do. Obviously, we've got a thigh rotation because we can see the separation right there. It came slightly rotated. 
Uh, we've got a double knee, right, with pins in there, but you know what? Who's counting? Great flexibility on that. Let's bring that back down and let's check out the feet because we don't have any, uh, no calf rotation on that. All right. And uh, feet, we've got up and down and we've got some good swivel rotation there. And boom, look at that. Toe articulation. Of course, he's got to have toe articulation. Have I mentioned that he's a flexible individual? Yeah, he is. Of course, he's got toe articulation. So that's it. I mean, that's our breakdown of old beastie right there. Uh, as far as flexibility, hinges and all that stuff. And now that we know how that flexibility is, let's see how easy it is to stand him quickly on his own. There we go. There's our guy standing. Uh, he's looking down. What's he looking at? Oh, he's looking at his little flask. Let's bring him into frame. There we go. His little flasks were off screen. Uh, let's check out. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm so curious. We'll see about those, those spectacles. Um, one thing that kind of stands out. There's not really a place to uh, to directly hook them, right? So it's neat to have the option, but unless I'm missing something here, here you uh, you look along with me. Let's let's get that sorted out. I don't really see anywhere, right? So a lot of figures they'll have a little hole and there'll be a little tiny peg on that that it can uh, kind of stick into. But there's not even anything for it to hook around or anything like that. I I am going to look a little bit more. And if I find something, I will definitely let you know. But on at least on that head sculpt, there's nothing I can see that's holding it in place. And let's bring this smaller, this other head sculpt in. Just so we can bring it closer since our focus is, in fact, working with us now. Look at that. Still nowhere that I can see for said spectacles to hook, right? So we might need to kind of maybe something slightly sticky to hold it in place. Uh, what were those things? Like a, a croaky, a croaker? Something just wraps around the back of the head just to kind of help hold it in place. But there's an opportunity right there that I immediately see, right? So the, the glasses could have a more simple way for them to hang and stay on the face. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's okay. We can figure that out all in time. Uh, in the meantime, that's been Beast. Bear with me for just a moment because we're going to come right back with some 360 views of our good old friend Hank McCoy. Okay, well, here's some nice 360 views of our guy, old Beast, old Henry McCoy. Sorry, Dr. Henry McCoy. Uh, a few different poses, positions for you. I hope you like them. Um, all in all, great figure, right? I do love the soft goods lab coat. I love the flasks that come with it. I do like the spectacles, even though the uh, the, the ability to hang them, uh, a little bit of a challenge, which obviously from a repaint, that ability wasn't part of it prior. So why would they add it? They can just include some spectacles and say, hey, good luck. And uh, I guess that's what they did. But that doesn't detract from the quality of the figure, right? So excellent paint job, excellent detail. Uh, I love the additions on there. I love having the ability for those of us who've missed out in the past to be able to get a nice blue beast with his scientific material, with that amazing snarling face. So all in all, fantastic investment. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a beast or looking for another beast, Go ahead and pick it up. Well, that about does it. Thank you for checking us out and for joining us on this collecting journey as always. Look for a new video each week, if not more, and be sure to subscribe and, and click that like button. It would really help us out and it would mean a lot to me. If you'd like to see some more videos, there are a couple of quick links on your screen right now for you to check out. No matter what, thanks for taking the time. And we are all in this world of collecting together. Let's look out for each other. Thanks.